Mary Cassatt is a young female American artist working in Paris. She will in part go to Paris because of the schooling available to her. Due to being a woman and therefore unable to frequent the same cafes and needing to care for her parents later in life, Cassatt focused on domestic life. And she moves to Paris initially to train because in the United States it was felt inappropriate for women to look at a living model, by which I mean a nude male. And let's be honest, the nude male form is just not an attractive one. You can't imagine that much excitement, but hey, what the heck, that's what they're thinking at the time. And this is a key element of artistic training. You need to study from the nude and the living nude specifically. So she will travel to Paris where she's allowed to train in Parisian academies. She's allowed to study the human form and consequently ends up there. Unfortunately, because she's a woman and sexism is still a thing, even in Paris, she can't frequent the same cafes. And so she ends up focusing on domestic life rather than going on these painting trips that we see Manet and Monet and Renoir and others taking. So let's look at her painting, The Bath. Now, the visual solidarity of the mother and child are in sharp contrast here to the patterned wallpaper and carpet. And when you look at it initially, this is a really busy scene. Everything is covered in pattern. The dresser, the wallpaper, the robe, the carpet, everything is patterned. She's basing this on Japanese woodblock prints, where we tend to see a massive use of pattern, something that we might see as particularly busy, such as in the clothing worn by the woman being depicted. Now, in terms of Japanese influence, we see pieces in the Japanese style by Kassat. Both of these are by Kassat, but especially the one on the right, but also the one on the left, and by the way, note the robe. Uh, these are both in that Japanese woodblock style. So she's trying to mimic the style. This gets rid of any argument that one might have that somehow Japanese woodblock prints are not particularly influential at the time. But let's get back to the painting. What we see is the tender relationship between a mother and child. It's a very linear image that's looking at, for example, color and light. In this case, focusing on the light as it interacts with the water. So as the child's foot and the mother's hand go into the water, how does it change? How does the color tone of the foot and that skin change as it sits there? Same thing, she's also looking at light the same way. How is light refracting through the water? Now, obviously she's doing that throughout the image, but it's strongest at that point. Now, you're saying they're saying, but you talked about light and color and arguably convincingly or not, but I don't see a fleeting moment. Trust me, if you ever have, say, a two-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old, and you have this tender moment of bathing the child in this bowl of water, I can guarantee you it's a fleeting moment because four seconds after this image is painted, that bowl has gone flying, the child's head is spinning on its axis, probably spitting uh, some kind of acid all over the room. You know what children do? It's going to be a fleeting moment because as a parent, it's a fleeting moment. Even though it might last a little bit of time, as we look back and we get nostalgic and we build up those memories moving forward because there aren't that many memories for a child that's two weeks old, but as they're two years old or two decades old, the memories build up, and so it becomes that fleeting moment in the memory of the mother. And Cassatt is giving us that female perspective here, giving us her view. What is the key element here? It isn't the fact that the child is being bathed. It is the relationship between the mother and child, that relationship that is changing and evolving incredibly slowly as it happens, but incredibly quickly as one looks back. She's capturing nostalgia in the painting while giving us Japanese woodblock prints as influence of the painting. 